so in our last video we were able to log in and uh, go to our dashboard right this is it but um, the next step is we need to um, stop the user from uh, to from going to a URL if he is not authenticated right so I'll show you what is the thing which you are going to implement from the documentation so router view JS there's something called navigation guards in the router so you know this is what we are going to implement in my main.js after I have done this you know I have declared the router I'll have some logic in here so that I can check whether the user is logged in or not okay but before that there is one more thing called meta information where is it route meta fields okay this is a way of adding some additional data so I'll use this you know requires auth I'll copy this add it here the basic idea is any route which I feel should be authenticated to access I mean the user should be authenticated to access that route I will add this meta information I can add many more things but yeah this is what it is so if you are not sure what's happening with this um, you know route before each so I'll just console the thing and let's you know okay one more thing whatever logic we do in this it should then call the next function it's very similar to any middleware that we you know uh, write in our you know uh, laravel thing so if we don't do return next request it doesn't work right it's similar so we need to do we need to call the next function for the page to redirect okay now this is the dashboard object we have full path hash matched okay and meta so in here we see require auth all right we have other things like name path everything and if i hit the back thing button i will get the home in home again the full path in this you see there is no meta called requires auth which means i can check on that key value okay so let's quickly do that the first thing I will check is if to meta requires auth if it is true then we need to check for the authentication of the user so I will create a constant called auth user and I will json dot parse window dot local storage org storage get item auth user so I'll get the object if I find auth user and I also find auth user dot access token this is how I will be you know confirming that is yes, yes the user is correct I'll allow him to go to the URL or else I will push him um, to the home URL okay so just to quickly go through it you know this is the to and this is the from URLs and this is next now I am checking that if my to URL has a meta information called required auth then I am creating a constant use auth user from the local storage data which I am you know creating when logging in I am checking whether auth user is an object it is true and there is something called access token if it is there okay fine you are allowed to go to the you know, route which you have requested or else you go back to home and you log in all right so I am able to log in that's fine I delete the local storage and I am redirected back 
if I try to go to that URL, I am coming back to my login page. And if I log in, and then I can do whatever I want. I can close this and again go to that page. Nothing will change because my local storage data is present. So yeah, if I delete it, I go back. So you know this is a beautiful feature in the new router from view. We have used meta fields and we have used navigation guards to now block any of the routes which are you know we feel should be authenticated so yeah that's about it that's how we um you know use the router so if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to share the video on social networking websites